Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. For more than four decades, our next guest has given us music with a Southern Soul Blues twist. Yes. She's always kept true to her Chicago roots and used her musical family background to give us hit records like Love on the New what? Management and Come Share My Love. Yes! My yes. And she's not stopping anytime soon. Here to talk about her new single, Fed Up. Please welcome Grammy nominated Mickey Howard. Yay! <laughs> yes! Yay! Pretty mm, baby! Mm. Come into yeah. my life, one in the cut! Yes! yes. Oh, hello, hello, Miss hello. Mickey! Hi. How are you? Hi. Welcome to the show. Yes. We're so happy to have you. This is your purple yes. pillow right here. Good to be here. Yes, absolutely. Four decades in the business. Yes. Oh my God! Oh yes. my God! <laughs> Yes, what do you attribute your longevity, attribute your longevity? Actually, I just think uh, because I am born to do this, mm -hmm. you know, my mother, my father, both singers, uh, it's just something I do, it's just who I am. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Now you're from the Shot Town, mm -hmm. Shot Town. Growing, growing up in Chicago with a musical family, both parents came from groups. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how did that impact your career and did it pressure you to be in the music business? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I didn't want to be in a group because, mm -hmm. you know, the group situation. But um, it was good. I grew up thinking that all singers loved each other mm -hmm. because my mother was in the caravan and they were uh, four or five great lead singers. They were all a group of lead singers and so was my dad's group. Mm -hmm. So everybody always, you know, pushed each other forward. And one of the things I found out, you know, uh, was that people really don't do that in secular music. Everybody's like in competition against each other. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's the difference maybe in gospel, but then they do it now in gospel too though. Yeah. But we, we, I never grew up with that. It was always, oh my God, my mm -hmm. head is singing. Uh -huh. You know, they always were, you know, for each other, you know, Joseph in the sun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, yeah. right. Now, now you, you mentioned quickly, real brief, you hit it in and then came uh -huh. on out. She did. She say, um, you know, I never got into a group because of the group thing. <laughs> what is the group thing? Everybody has their opinions, what they want to do. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not finna wear the same color. I feel weird having on this hat with my guys here. Mm -hmm. Alvin and Calvin. Yeah, Alvin and Calvin have I'm like, I, look, this is a... This is who I am. I, I can't, I can't not, you know, I'm not, I can't dress like you. I, I was in a group, mm -hmm. but it was three guys. Okay, I was in Side Effect, and I was the lead singer, and they doted on me, and they taught me everything I know. Right, mm -hmm. good, yeah. good, good. Speaking of, you know, friendships and teaching you everything, you know, you and Shaka Khan have a great relationship I as love well. Her. Talk about her impact. In She's your amazing. Life. Uh, she just continues to ascend and ascend and to cross through any barrier that comes up, you know, she's a mother too. Yeah. Yeah. And a grandmother mm -hmm. and a single mm -hmm. parent. Mm -hmm. So uh, a lot of our things are similar. We, you know, with our children and, you know, and she kissed a little bit before me. So right. Right. I see, well, well, God, she made it through that. Right. And I know I, I can. can do it. Right. Get, get your Oh, 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 yeah, right. I mean, I saw her through the days, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? We've been friends for many, many years, you mm -hmm. know, um, her brother and I went to high school together. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I used to play cards with her grandmother. Mm -hmm. what, what you play? Big Wiz. Big Wiz. Yes. Okay. And we never play cards or anything because uh -huh. she can't play games. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> school because of recess. She's right. real serious. Yes. So, and, and segueing into parenting, um, this is something that I struggle with all the time as an entertainer like leaving your children. You oh. walk away from your children, it's almost like your heart just fall out of your body. Mm -hmm. How have you, like, well, I, well, I'll just say, because you know everybody would ask you, well, how have you done balance that? What I want to know is, what are some key things that you had to talk to yourself? Like, what yes. was the self-talk like in order the, to be able to handle that? Their life has got to be better than mine. Mm -hmm. They have got to have a, a leg up. They have got to be in school. I took them every time they weren't in school. Mm -hmm. But the times that they had to be in school, I took mm -hmm. them and I sent them to different schools where I thought they would flourish. I, I took them from LA to Chicago, mm -hmm. Chicago to Atlanta, mm -hmm. wherever I thought they would flourish, especially I had, I had boy children, mm -hmm. black men children. Mm -hmm. yes. And I remember the day that fear struck in my heart that I had black men children. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, I yeah. absolutely must make sure they're educated. I absolutely must make sure they can speak the proper King's English because yes. I can't stand it when, you know, you know, uh, a person comes, yeah, you can speak slang and you can be with the Cardi B and all that, but you need to straighten that up at a time and be able to speak 
proper English. Right. Yeah. You right. know, I just couldn't stand it. Yeah. Man, what's yeah. up? What's up? <laughs> the sky. Well, I'll tell you what's up. Oh, yeah. She's what's up. That's, That's right. right. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with the amazing Mickey Howard right after this. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live, and we are here with a multi-talented Mickey Howard. Let's talk about your new single, Fed Up. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it centers around the subject of domestic violence. Let's talk yeah. about why this particular song is so important to you. Well, you know, I was a victim of domestic violence, and uh, it took quite a bit to get out of the relationship. Mm -hmm. So I've been a very understanding friend, you know, to different women going through things. And people often DM me, y'all know what that means, <laughs> <laughs> about their situations and stuff. And you give them advice and you try. But I just thought I'd make a record that says it all. Don't ask me what I think anymore. I, you should be fed up. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's not with just domestic violence. It's with anything that is aggravating your peace. Ooh. You should be fed up with that. Yes. Message. Aggravating your peace. You know, really? It's yes. not. I can't. Right. I can't. People say, well, I, I, you should be big. You should be. I should be happy. Right. I should be happy. And peaceful. When did you get to that place in your life? When I turned 50. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I was, like, still doing the Cougar Panther thing, you know. And this one last guy, like, I, I read his text message. I said, what the? Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. But it had we changed my life. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Bad tuck smith. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, well, you know what? Uh, <laughs> moving so, right I'm along. Sorry. That's all right. We got gotcha. you. Okay. My granddaughter, don't say things like that. Right, okay. That's all right. <laughs> now, you have been in this business for a long time, four decades to mm -hmm. be exact. Yeah. And is there anyone left that you have not collaborated with that you are just like, you know what, I really like this, and new or old. I like Offset. You like Offset? I like Offset, I like that little dance and he yeah, did just recently. Yeah, I like the way that the, the Migos music, I think they're genius. They I are. Like it. I, like I the really Migos do. Too. I would love to work with, you know, somebody like that, And you know, but the new people don't work with the old people. <laughs> but you're legendary. Yeah, have, yeah, you, okay. have, you, have you approached? Oh, I don't approach people. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm oh, sorry. they work with you. They work with you. They just go sample your music. <laughs> oh, right. That's what they do. That's yeah. what they do. Yeah. They sample my music. Give me they them checks. Yes. 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 That sample right. music check be sweet. Yes, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So what's next for Mickey Howard? After well, you, yeah, what's next for you? Um, tonight or tomorrow night, yeah. I'm going to be at uh, City Winery in oh, Atlanta. Oh, yes. Yay. Yeah, and you're doing the City Wineries, too. Yes. yes. I'm on the tour. You guys, we love City Wineries love around City the country. Winery. We do them all. Yes. Um, they, they bring us in. They pay us well. Yeah, we do, can bring do. our band Come and all that check. kind of thing. So, um, yeah. Yeah, City yeah, Winery. City Winery. Good. Tomorrow Good night? Yeah, Atlanta. tomorrow night in Atlanta. Awesome. We'll be at all the City Wineries across the country. Look out for Mickey. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Miss Mickey Howard. You can check out her new single, Fed Up, and make sure you keep up with everything Mickey Howard by following her on Twitter at Mickey Howard Live. And the conversation yeah. continues. This is Circle TV. Hey, thank right. you, Mickey.